What's up everyone? Today we're doing some live attacks in Tribe Gaming against British Spirit. Let's see if I can get the six pack. Alright guys, so here's the first base we're going to be hitting today. We're going to go ahead and do a little plan on it and then we're going to see if it works. Going to do the attack live for you guys, see if I can get the triple here. The plan is simple, we're going to be using Queen Charge Miners on this one. Corey did come in and he got a 99% on this base earlier. We're going to try to fix his attack, clean it up a bit, see what we can do to make it work. Now here's the basic idea of the plan. I want to send my king to walk this way and make the funnel on this side because I want to send a battle blimp right through here and take out this entire compartment here with the inferno and the scatter shot with yetis in the blimp, that's the plan. Then we're going to be dropping our queen right behind so she can take out some of these defenses and then walk around this way down to the south. We're going to be dropping some early minions probably over here to get these two buildings out of the way and then we want to wall break right in for this corner here. Then I want the queen to go inside this channel where she'll be able to get all these defenses, reach the eagle if it's still alive, reach the scatter if it's still alive. Uh, then we're going to use a jump spell, let me draw it in yellow, right over this wizard tower so that queen's going to be able to keep going and just take out the rest of the base, basically everything on this side she'll be able to reach the town hall, the CC, all these defenses on the back end. And then we're going to be sending miners right through this channel here on the right side. We're going to be using a P.E.K.K.A. to funnel the miners this way. That's the basic idea of the plan. There is a Tesla farm over here on the left side of the base. A bunch of Teslas over here. I think it was four. It might have been all five. I can't remember. But we're going to be saving the Royal Champ to come in from this side over here late in the attack to kind of go alongside the Queen. So that way Queen can keep pushing this way. Royal Champ can push this way. And they all work together to try to you know destroy all those, all those defenses so the whole Tesla farm isn't attacking the Queen all at the same time. And then hopefully we won't time fail either. I'm going to be dropping some wizards behind the row of champs. Some wizards behind the P.E.K.K.A. over here. Another wizard over here where needed. I'm going to bring like three or four wizards probably. So that's the basic idea of the plan. We're going to go ahead and cook up the army and then give this a try. So we'll be right back. Alright guys. I got the army all trained up. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. We're going to be bringing five healers. A P.E.K.K.A. Two minions. Twenty-five miners. Four wizards for cleanup, five wall breakers to get our queen inside, and a giant to tank for the royal champ on the back end, so that way she can stay alive for a really long time, hopefully. In the CC, we're going to be taking the battle blimp, we're going to be taking that jump spell, we're going to be taking the yetis for that early yeti bomb, just like we planned. So, let's go ahead and give this a try. Hopefully I can get the triple here. Don't want to fail after a 99%, that would suck. But let's go ahead and give this a shot, see if it works. So I'm going to go ahead and go in right now let's do this here hit the attack button yes here we go and I'm in alright so first things first king over here let's get our minions down see where king's gonna be going He's going to be going right for that wizard tower. Now we're going to be sending the battle blimp in. And the queen right behind. I'm going to get ready with this rage. Pop the blimp right there so we can get these defenses. Need healers on the queen. Out comes the CC so we're going to poison it. Gonna get this wall break in before that cannon dies. Perfect there with the wall break. The eagle's already down, so queen doesn't really need to be able to reach anything. The enemy queen is still alive. My yetis didn't do any damage to her. They did get the BK down though, which is nice. So really, I guess I could start these miners whenever I want to. I'm gonna wait just a little bit though. We got, we got plenty of time, I think. Minute 46, still on the clock. Now I'm gonna go ahead get started with a P.E.K.K.A. and a wizard here. Gonna drop the jump spell right there. 
Gonna get a rage and a wizard down. Now we're gonna send in all the miners here with the warden. Queen's going in for the town hall, which is nice. We get an early heal right there. Now we gotta be patient on the timing with this royal champ. I'm gonna go ahead and get her going with the wizard behind. I'm gonna heal up all these miners again. Popping the queen here. I'm gonna pop the warden pretty soon as well. There we go with the warden ability. Pop the royal champ. She's gonna get a bunch of defenses. Can these miners push through the rest of the base? I think they'll be able to. This is looking really good here. Let's see, let's see. Ton of miners up on the back end. Yes, this is looking beautiful. That royal champ over at nine o'clock did a lot of work there. That was awesome. This is gonna be a triple. Plenty of time to spare too, I think. Tons of miners alive. Awesome. We did it, guys. Got the triple. Against British Spirit here. We'll go ahead and play that back, see what went right, what went wrong. Let's go ahead and take a look. Feels good getting the triple in war here. Still 14 hours left in war, so not bad at all. Let's go ahead and see. Take a look at the replay. See what some of the guys are saying. Yep. Let's see what went right and what went wrong. I'm not sure if anything actually went wrong here. It was a pretty damn good attack. Let's see. So the BK is going into funnel, make the early funnel. He kind of got stuck on the enemy king there, so he didn't get like all this value over here like I thought he might have. <clears throat> he got stuck on the king on that wizard tower and then died. Uh, the minions did exactly what they were supposed to do. They got these trash buildings over here, which is nice. The battle blimp going in. I wasn't sure if it would get the eagle. Uh, but it actually ended up getting the Scatter, the Inferno, and the Eagle, which was just perfect. They also took out the enemy king, got the CC lure, just like I wanted them to. Then Queen started walking down this way. The wall break was just perfect. Uh, it didn't send in a test wall breaker because Corey already sent in some wall breakers there on the last attack, so I knew there wasn't any small bombs. But normally you would want to send a test wall breaker first before you send all the rest in. Queen's going to take out the CC here, then she's going to step into this channel. And it's just going to go really well here. I'm going to give Queen a little bit of time, so we'll go ahead and fast forward through some of that. While Queen's just stepping up, getting all these buildings here, all of this trash. And then I'm going to go ahead and start with the P.E.K.K.A. and the Wizard on the right side. They're going to start making this funnel, get all these trash buildings on the right side taken care of. So that way I can send the miners right through this channel here. That's where you want to keep the miners. The jump, the rage to keep the queen going, pushing through, and then a wizard here just to get some of these outside buildings to make sure queen's going to stay focused on this stuff inside the base there. Now the miners are pushing through. They're going to get locked onto the queen here pretty quickly, and that bomb tower is going to be in range, so I'm going to have to drop an early heal here. Actually, the bomb tower got distracted by the P.E.K.K.A. for a while, which was nice, but I'm still going to have to drop that heal here because it does switch off to the miners. Queen gets the town hall over on the left side with that last rage spell. And then here, I'm going to drop the Giant and the Royal Champ over on the Tesla farm on the left side. She's going to start getting those Teslas. And then a Wizard in behind to do cleanup. Queen uh, triggers a Tornado Trap and the Warden's on her, so I have to pop her ability there. Lose a bunch of healers to the Seeking Air Mines. And then using the last heal on the right side and the Warden ability because of the Scatter Shot and the Bomb Tower. Doing a ton of splash damage to my troops here. But that Royal Champ pushing through. Using her ability, she gets all these defenses on the outside, so that Queen's going to stay alive. That Royal Champ's going to stay alive. Ton of Miners still alive. They're going to kill the enemy Royal Champ here in one swing, just like that. Really nice job. There's like 20 Miners still up. I might be exaggerating a little bit, but there's a ton of Miners up. Warden's still alive, and I mean, it's just a beautiful hit there. So, really nice plan there. Um, pretty pretty close to the plan that Corey was doing originally. Uh, just a couple things went wrong on his attack. I changed up a few things and then it worked really well for me there. So a nice attack there. We got the triple with a pretty dominating attack actually. So we're going to go ahead and back out. Look for another base to hit and plan on with you guys. And so we'll be right back in just a minute. Alright guys, here's the next base we're going to be hitting today. We're going to be using a Queen Charge Hogs attack. Let's go ahead and take a look at the base and see what I want to do to it. So I want to charge this whole entire bottom side here, get the eagle artillery down nice and early. So I'm going to start 
with a little P.E.K.K.A funnel to walk over here this way. And I'll throw in probably a wizard behind. Then I want to get my queen going this way. And I'm going to use a giant or two in front of her. So I don't have to drop the healers right away because of this awkward AD. I don't want it to kill any of my healers. So the P.E.K.K.A goes this way. Queen starts walking this way. My B.K. will funnel this side here. And then I'm going to wall break right into this Inferno compartment. It's on, The Inferno is on single target. So I don't need to freeze it early. I can wait until it targets my queen before I freeze it. I am going to take two freezes though because of that. I want to be uh, careful make sure I don't have to pop my queen ability too early. Drop a bunch of rages because there's two enemy heroes here and a bunch of expos and a scatter shot. So I'm probably going to need the freezes, maybe even the queen ability. And then once queen gets through all that stuff, I do need to get this CC pool, which is kind of sketchy. So I'm going to just end up taking a jump. And I think I'm going to drop it right over here in this area. Just so Queen can keep going, get some more value, hopefully take out this uh, Wizard Tower, Scattershot, Sweeper, this other Expo for the pathing and all these defenses over here. If she can keep going that way, that would be nice. And then I want to hog from this side here, sending all the hogs and the Royal Champ and the Warden like that. Probably send a Stone Slammer with more hogs from the top here just to get these two defenses down uh, nice and early. Just so the hogs don't even have to worry about those two defenses. And then I'll just be dropping some cleanup wizards behind. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get hogs to path over here earlier or not. So the cleanup wizards might end up dying. So I'm probably going to have to start the hogs super early to make sure I don't time fail here. Or just save my wizards as long as I can. I'm thinking the hogs will path through here. And then kind of get an awkward split this way. And then move all the way around the base. And they'll end up having to finish probably back over here on this wizard tower. I'm not sure if anything's going to get that wizard tower too early. That might be the last thing to go down. So that's the basic idea of the plan. Queen charge hog attack. We're going to go ahead and cook up the army and we'll be right back when we're ready. Alright guys, so here we go. We got the army all trained up. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're bringing on this one. We're going to be bringing five healers, the P.E.K.K.A for the funnel, eight wizards, six wall breakers to make sure we get in. A giant to tank for the queen super early, 26 hogs and one miner for cleanup going through the core in case there's any trash buildings. Now notice I am only going to be taking one heal on this attack, so a little risky here. We'll see if it pays off. It might not. I'm going to really rely on the queen charge to get a ton of value. And then the hogs with the warden ability and the royal champ only with one heal to push through the entire top half of the base over here. Hopefully they'll be able to do it. I think they will be able to. That's why I'm doing it, but we'll see. Hopefully it works out. Let's go ahead and give this a try real quick and see if it works. Let's go ahead and go in and attack this base live. Here I go. Let's hope this works. I'm going to start off with the P.E.K.K.A. and the Wizard to get that funnel. Then we're going to be dropping Giant and the Queen here. I'm getting the king over here. I can drop the healers now. Wall breakers. Successful wall break. We're going to go ahead, freeze this inferno. Pop the king ability. He's going to take out the royal champ, actually, which is nice for us. I'm going to go ahead and rage this queen so she can get through the enemy queen. Out comes the enemy CC. Did I get a full pool? I see an ice golem and I see two witches. I think that's the full pool. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the poison. Kill that whole CC really fast. I am going to have to rage again soon because that scatter does so much damage. There goes the next rage. Let's go ahead and get ready with this jump. I'm going to drop it right there. So Queen can push through. Keep getting all of this value over here. I think I'm going to pop her ability next. No, I'm going to actually drop the rage. She gets that sweeper. Now let's go ahead and start with the hogs over here. I'm going to drop this heal pretty early and the freeze. 
Queen pops ability there. She's going to get some more value down south. Hogs are pushing through. I'm going to pop the Warden ability here over the Town Hall. Everything going in now. No more spells. Queen might die. She might live here. Actually, she might live. Oh my gosh. This is going to be awesome here. Hogs are still at full health, so I did not end up needing that last heal, just like I thought. Hopefully we're not going to get a time fail here. I'm going to save this Royal Champ ability for cleanup, actually. Once the Wizard Tower is dead, now I can pop it. It's going to go do cleanup. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Awesome. That ended up working out really well. Another triple there. We're going to get the six pack this war. Nice job with the live attacks. Let's go ahead and take another look at that one, see what went right. Damn, that felt good doing hogs with only one heal. It's been a while since I've done that. All right. We still had like 15 or 20 seconds to spare too. So let's go ahead and take a look see, here, see what went right. So we used the P.E.K.K.A. on the right side to make the funnel. God, that arrow looked bad. Okay, there we go. There's a good looking arrow. P.E.K.K.A. is going to walk this way. Wizard behind. I needed the wizard to get that builder hut, honestly, just so I know my queen's not going to go to the right. And then I use a giant in front of the queen, so that way I don't have to drop the healers right away because this AD is in range. Once queen's shooting that AD, I can drop the healers. I drop the king over on the left to funnel. I want him to walk this way, and he ends up getting the royal champ for me, which I wasn't counting on, but that was really nice. It ended up saving me a rage, which honestly is probably the reason why queen stayed alive till the very end of the attack. So King's going to get the Royal Champ, and he's going to get the CC Pool. So King did a lot of good stuff for us there. Then I'm going to drop the Rage here pretty soon to help Queen get through the enemy Queen here. She's going to take her out, no problem at all. Even though that Scatter Shot is on her, she's going to be able to get through that enemy Queen nice and easily. I get the full CC Pool from the King ability, so I'm going to go ahead and drop the Poison here. It ends up taking a long time to kill these Witches, that Poison. I'm not sure why what, or what that was about, but... It's going to take like two and a half minutes here just to kill the witches, it seems like. Then I drop another rage, keep the queen alive, and I'm going to drop the jump here. I want the queen to go this way, just like that, for her to keep going that way and get all these defenses here, just like that. And then I'm going to end up dropping the hogs over here from 9 o'clock. I use that last rage to keep the queen alive as long as possible. Now that she's got that sweeper out of the way, it's not pushing back the healers anymore, which is nice. Notice how I get these cleanup wizards down super early, guys. You got to get them right behind your first group of hogs unless you want a time fill. And I know none of you want a time fill, so make sure you get those wizards down early. Road champ in behind, so that way she's going to come over here and take out the enemy king. I freeze the town hall and those two Teslas that are in the core. So pretty good value from that extra freeze. I didn't end up needing it for the queen charge. Pop the Warden ability here. I think I got almost every single hog. It might have missed one or two there. But they're all going to survive through that Gigabomb. Still at pretty much full health. This single target Inferno is not going to be able to keep up with 74 and a half hogs. They're just going to overpower the base big time here. Queen stays alive with her healers. I got cleanup wizards on every side of the base. Uh, drop another one over here. And you just know it's not going to time fail once you got that. Queen at full health now, Royal Champ at full health still with her ability, Warden at full health. I got like 72 hogs here. They hit a giant bomb, but it doesn't matter. There's so many of them at full health, and this is just going to be overkill. Wow, that worked out really well. The Miner I didn't even need. There was nothing really inside the base. I thought maybe the CC or something wouldn't go down, but the Queen got everything on the outside. So that one's going to be a triple. There you can see the Army Comp I used. The Stone Slammer with the hogs inside worked out really well, actually. But that's going to be a nice little six pack by your boy Lex Nose in this war against British Spirit. Uh, there's still like 14 hours left to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stats. We are 16 for 36, which honestly isn't that great. I think that's below 50%. Oh well, at least I went two for two. Hopefully the rest of the guys can uh, clean up the rest of the bases. Although British Spirit is only three for 31, so I'm pretty sure we're going to end up winning this war. Unless they can, you know switch the gears and really start three star in all our bases out of nowhere it looks like we have the huge advantage though 16 for 36 to their three for 31 but you know good luck to british spirit uh there's always a chance they could come back and do some good things here in the end uh, if you guys want to see me recap this war once it's over let me know i can uh, i'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of good triples by the guys in tribe gaming uh to recap but you guys got to see my live attacks in this one i got the six pack so nice stuff there feels good uh, but that's going to be all for this video. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe for more videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.